Francis Newman. You're an activist, an education activist? Well, I guess you could say that. Now, you hey, you just told me earlier that you graduated <laughs> from what, what was it, Robeson? Robeson. Back in the day. It was still like a new building back in the day when you went, right? Um, relatively new. It's built in yes. the late 70s, right? Robeson? I'm not sure. No, it was, come on. I you only remember? went one year. Only went. What other high school you went to? Um, I left Chicago in sixth grade. Uh huh. This cool. You mean you look at me? Go ahead. Okay, and um, I moved to California. What part? Carson. It's a suburb of Los Angeles. Yeah, I was that's L.A. Uh, yes. Carson near Torrance, right? Yes. All right, cool. That's like south of the downtown. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, you can't remember? Oh, yeah, that was <laughs> funny. Years ago, Thirty years ago. <laughs> well, why'd you move back from sunny California, Southern California, back to Chicago? The freeze of death out here. Oh, how did I end up back? Yeah. I got pregnant in my junior year. Oh, in Chicago. In Chicago. I came here for the summer. Uh huh. Got pregnant here. Yeah. Went back home pregnant. You got a story to tell. I wish I had two, two or three hours and we get, get all into Francis Newman real life. We, we don't want to go too deep. Right. So that's cool. So you, so, uh, you, you, so you went, came back to Chicago and graduated here. Right. You went to high school in Carson, California for a while. Yes. So uh, let's go. I want to try to figure out why are you activists? You know, 30 something years later, 33 years later, why do you still care about education 33 years later? Because I know it's, a, it's an avenue out of our current condition. Uh huh. The avenue, huh? It, it's the avenue, in my opinion. The right kind of education. But we, I, I was saying earlier off camera, I don't think we have enough Francis Newmans. You know, we're here at the Black Star Project. It's a very busy day. They got the Saturday school going on, people moving around. And they care, you care, but how do we get more Francis Newmans, people who care about education and going to get involved? I think, um,. I don't think people really understand the value of education, our people. And as we spoke earlier, we've been conditioned not to have that understanding. You know, so, you know, I spoke of um, uh, you know what? getting I did. pregnant in Which my junior year, yeah. but I've always that, valued education, even before that. So, but my baby was born in May. I was off two weeks. I came back and did my finals. What? And finished junior year on time, finished my senior year at Rosen. And was accepted at the University of Chicago when I graduated from Rose. What? So you were you were a top student in I high was. school. I was. Wow. Now you know. Not hit, not, ooh, I want to get to your business so bad. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to tip it not to. How does this top student? We we know how, but how right. does a top student? That's what everybody. Wants. Yeah. How does this top student go on and have that baby in the in junior year, senior year? How does that happen? <laughs> That's what everybody wants to know. <laughs> because because there's these young ladies who go through that right now. Right. I don't care if they D students or A students. Nobody's that that beyond, baby can show up real quick. Yes. Don't think it's not going to happen. Nobody's beyond getting, as my husband calls it, getting caught up. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be pregnancy. It can be drugs. It can be gangs. It can be a variety of things. But children are a blessing, but you still got accepted to the University of Chicago. Did you go? I did for, for a short period of time. That's cool, though. I did. That's cool. But then I just returned to school about two years ago, and the credits that I received there, which was like more than... 30 years ago, we're still good. Well, of course, it's the <laughs> University of Chicago. Yes. No, I, I say that because um, life it has a lot of twists and turns. When you're young, you think you're going to be a millionaire, and, and some people get there, but very few become a millionaire. Very right. few people become multi-millionaires. Mm -hmm. How do we get our young people, whether they're in grammar school, high school, high, and college, mm -hmm. to stay focused? Because you're going to have little bumps in the road. Right. Get back on and stay focused. Because if back in the day, why, why didn't you? I'm going to go back to the children of the day, mm -hmm. but... Why didn't you go back to college after you left the University of Chicago? Um, more children. Yeah. I had more children. You were having a good time, weren't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> you were you, you, you having I fun, weren't you? Children. That's, yeah. No, children are a blessing. Yes, they are. And so you focus, on your children versus, you focus on your children versus focus yes. on your own education, yes. which is noble. Right. Very right. noble. Mm -hmm. Very noble. Sure. So you say you're going back to school now. Where, where are you going back to school? DePaul. I just received my bachelor's Ooh. two years ago. Woo! And I'm working on my master's. You serious? <laughs> you serious? Well, you a, you a better person than me because I ain't going back. <laughs> I was too lazy. But, and so how do we get our young people to, to, to stay focused? To understand that, you know, although you may have some bumps, you need to, instead of, no offense, going back 30 years later. Right. You can do You may go back three, late, three years later. Go, right. go on back and try to finish now. Finish now and have your children after that. Yeah? Yeah. It would have been much easier if I had done it that way. 
Yeah, well, why do you think it's young girls of the day and young boys? Because the boys make the babies and run. We know right. that. Okay, who want? Everybody want to be a man, but nobody want to buy them pampers, right? <laughs> that's a whole. That's a real man to buy them diapers. Yeah. Okay, so why, why do you think the girls? Why do you think the girls of the day want? I know it happens, but do they really understand what a? It's a struggle when you have those kids. And when I used to do the Black Star Project many years, I always tell the young people in high school, especially, please try to delay having children mm -hmm. but that's like it's culturally it's like for some people having children is a, is it's part of the culture this is what you do right how do we how do we change that but culture it was part of what you did when you had a husband yeah. and but nowadays nowadays marriage you know marriage is on the on the wane now you know but i'm but saying see, that how do we change that culture where to delay having children to after you get your bachelor's or your associates or something like that Oh, I mean, the only thing as a parent, you, 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 you try to continue, continue, continue stressing that. But then you you give him one message, but then there's so many other messages coming from from different directions. I, I say that you're right, uh, Francis Newman. Has today, when you talk to young people of today, you know the, the 2000s, mm -hmm. well, it was like with 2013. Now, mm -hmm. yikes! I, I, do you do you see uh, do you see yourself 30 something years ago, or have the, has the young people actually changed to where it was when we were? Uh, teenagers back in the day. So much has changed really? from where we were back in the day. So much has changed. What has changed? <sighs> Other than everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, you you know we did WVON last week, and mm -hmm. you, you called. And oh, you a couple weeks ago. Question. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 You asked the question, and at the time I, I didn't really have an answer, but I thought about it. You you said, how do we? It's kind of like what's going on. What's 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 the issue? And when I really see is that we have no checks and balances in our community. Everybody's running around doing whatever they want to do. You know, the, 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 the single the family unit has broken down, you know, and these are things that I believe God put in place. A husband checks a wife, a wife checks a husband in different ways. Children check parents because when you have children you have to slow down, you have to be responsible. That's how it should be. And parents of course keep children in check. But now everybody's just running around doing whatever they want to do. So children are not being parented. They're being allowed to make their own decisions or they're being told what to do by the TV, by the music, by everybody. That they, and so now they've been so conditioned that they would rather listen to what the music is saying, what the TV is saying, compared to what the parents, opposed to what the parents are saying. Man, well, it was like that when we was in school in the 70s. Not to that degree. Well, they, they, we didn't have the internet and uh, all the cable TV. Right. So it's much different. Than, but, but not to that degree. Yeah, so the culture is still the biggest influence of our young people, right? The culture, right? Uh, Today's culture. Pop Today's culture. culture. Yeah, yeah, pop culture. Yeah. I, yes. How do, how do we come back that pop culture? You have to start when they're young before they get too strung out on it. You know, you have to monitor stuff. Don't so you let them watch TV 24-7. You know, because then they're addicted to it. You know what I mean? And it's almost to the point where you can't. You know, you put them to bed early when they're young. Like my daughter, she's 8, 9, 9.30, she's asleep because she's so conditioned to go in the bed because we've been putting her to bed. She can't even stay up if she wanted to. But when you allow them to stay up, I mean, children are up all night playing video games. You know, how can they be alert when they get to school? They've been up all night. You know, they don't have a breakfast before they leave. You see them on the corner, they're eating hot Fritos or Cheetos or whatever. You know, so it's so many levels of, of you know, the food is a drug. You know, when you allow them to eat whatever they want to eat. So you're combating all that. But if you try to get a grip when they're younger and monitor and put them in the habits of doing certain things, and they'll, it's much easier. Even if they stray a little bit, they can come back because they, you know, but once it's so far gone, it's, 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 it's very difficult to come back. In the public schools here in Chicago, as you want to know, the, uh, some people say uh, we can't do nothing about the parents. The parents are toast. <laughs> I mean, the parents are like, the culture is so ingrained that, we really have to focus on those young people. It's a chicken and egg problem. That's what I'm trying to say. Who do we fix first? Do we try to help the children do well in school? Or should we spend a little bit more effort at helping the parents become better parents? I think more effort should be placed on the parents. Yeah. And I think this is kind of what has happened because it's kind of like the cart before the horse. 
and instead of focusing on parents, you want to focus on children. But if it's not reinforced what's being done with the children when they go home, then it's, you're almost fighting a losing battle. Okay, uh, give a closing comment, and we may do another segment. Give a closing comment. What should a parent do, uh, whether we are, whether we have children or the children are grown? How do we, as just regular folks, improve the public schools? Do we join the Black Star Project? What do we do? <laughs> Joining the Black Star Project is definitely um, something that we all should do. But as a parent, you know, somebody asked me, what does parental engagement look like? It looks like putting your child to bed at night. It looks like monitoring how long they're on the video game, how long they're watching TV, monitoring what they eat, knowing who their friends are, knowing where they are, just being responsible. Being a parent, right? Being a parent. That's a tough job. It is. How, how many kids? It is. How many but somebody's got to do it, and who should be responsible is the ones who God gave the children. You said you had 10 children? I have 10. Yeah, that you should. I should come back next time and just talk about parenting. And between yeah, my husband and I, we have a total of 13. Woo! Francis Newman, you're wonderful.